Uh, traders, I'm not going to continue trading today. As you can see here, I'm down $13,000 and that's due to two failing trades uh, in ZM. Um, Airbnb is currently slightly in green. So maybe something's going to happen there. But if I take a look at ZM, if you want to really discuss what happened there, you know, the risk in ZM was the fact uh, that ZM was up around 4% at the point uh, when we went short. The technical formation for short was beautiful in ZM. There was really nothing wrong. I'm talking about the first trade. Um, Yogi moved in first, I moved in after Yogi. But anyway, the technical formation for short in ZM really looked nice. It looked like ZM is going to continue coming down. I did mention that uh, the risk was the fact that uh, ZM was up 4% for the day and therefore you never know when a stock, stock like that is going to stop, reverse and move higher, which happened uh, twice. Well, the second time it came down was it, it looked even better and it really touched a new low. So you can argue that ZM is indeed trending lower. So I went for the second time and the second time didn't work out. And the fact is really just ZMs going sideways. Well, that definitely can happen. And although there was a technical, nice technical formation for a short, uh, the fact that ZM was up like 4% and the market slowly continued moving higher, that took me out for the second time. So to start with, I would say it had a nice technical formation for a short. It failed mainly because uh, the market was moving higher and ZM responded to the market and ZM is relatively uh, strong today. So several reasons why a trade like this could fail. And although it looked like it's going to continue the downtrend, it failed for the second time and that's it. What I'm really kind of angry at myself for is uh, my trade in Airbnb. You know, when, when I took uh, Airbnb for, short, for the short side, it looked, it, it looked right. There was nothing wrong about going short Airbnb. The initial move was down very nice, popped up a little bit, came down, reached my target and uh, maybe 70 or 60 percent cents more. And by the way, it's making a nice move right now. So just maybe I'm not going to be down that much. So Airbnb reached my target, which was three points and a little bit more than that, and I failed to take my partial. At that point where it came, when it came down, I, I saw the nice downside momentum and I really thought it could do more than this. And I'll tell you one more thing. Um, it sometimes happens to me and uh, I hate to admit it, but uh, I have to say it anyway. When, when I'm in red, and uh, so it happened today after my first ZM trade. That was only my first ZM trade. I was down like six or seven grand, I can't remember. And um, the point where Airbnb reached my target, I was almost at zero. I was slightly in green at that point. And deep down in my mind, I really wanted to be very green. Okay, so I think that if I did not have and again, to be honest, if I did not have my first losing trade in ZM, I probably would have taken my partial in Airbnb as I should have because it reached my target and I had my chance and it spent enough time at around my target and I had my chance to take my partial and uh, uh, to move out with nice uh, trade in, in, in Airbnb. Now, if I'm going to be extremely lucky, it's going to get back there right now and maybe I'll get my second chance. Uh, but now I cannot probably, unless it makes a huge move, cover my loss because um, and I now have two losing trades in ZM. And that's a danger. You, you, uh, if you didn't understand what, what I, I just meant to say is the following. There's, there should be no relationship between your first trade and your second trade. If your first trade was a loser, it should not reflect on your second trade. I did let it reflect. I believe that I did let it reflect on my second trade, Airbnb. When I was down in ZM, I was trying to get a very profitable trade in Airbnb, not just cover my loss, which I could have at that point, 
but I was trying to get to the point where the second trade in Airbnb is making a big move and putting me safe in green territory and finishing nicely green for the day. I, I, I hate to admit it, but that thought went through my mind, which is a very big mistake. Your second trade has nothing to do with your first trade. If you had a losing day, the next day normally has nothing to do with your first losing day. Well, if I do have two or three losing days, I would lower my size because I know that I'm not very, uh, you know, eligible for a, a great uh, trading session after having several losing days. You have a losing trade, forget about your losing trade when you take your second trade. Nobody cares. I mean, the market doesn't care what happened to your first trade. You just handle the second trade as if you never lost money, as if you, uh, and that's also right if you're making money. Like if you have a huge winner, then the second one is a loser or the second one is a winner, that could affect you as well. So mentally speaking, your first trade should be erased from your mind and you should approach your second trade as if nothing happened. Well, I did not do it today. I'm human. It happens to me. Uh, does it happen to you? <laughs> does it ever happen to you? I mean, am I the only one uh, who's having these issues? Uh, let me know. Uh, are there more people here in the room that uh, feel the same like I do? Uh, does it happen to you that uh, you, you mistreat your second trade force because uh, your first trade uh, went wrong? Too many times, Alexander? For sure, Linda. Abi says no. Joel says yes. Well, I guess I'm not the only one who's making uh, these kind of mistakes, but uh, let me just say uh, this is something that happens. Uh, happened to me more. Happened to me more in the past. But uh, as, as time goes by, it happens to me less and less. Um, today it happened to me. Definitely happened to me. I hesitated at the point where it reached my target. I should have clicked that button over there and I did not click the button over there. So uh, I guess this is going to be a red day, although right now I'm up um, in Airbnb and just may reduce my uh, $13,000 loss, but uh, that's a little early to say now. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to start with Red Day and um, I hope you guys did better than I did. If you are on YouTube, we will really appreciate if you give us a thumb up. Uh, it will help our channel and, um, you know, just one click of a button on your side. We would really like that. Thank you all for participating and I'll see you all tomorrow. So just enjoy the rest of your day and um, stay green. Bye traders.